How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm pretty good. So, is this the right way? Oh, this is the right way. <laughs> so, what's going on with you guys right now? Uh, you're working on a new album, is that right? No, yeah, it's done. It's done? Okay. It's done, although we played um, a new song that we never played before, and yeah. I liked something that happened when we played it live, and so we're going back and changing the mix. So, but ostensibly it's done. That's cool. So yeah. what, I mean, is it anything like the single that you've already released? What's the... Um, yeah, there is... Mm, no, I think it is like that. There's another song that's kind of in that vein a little bit, like, for lack of a better word, reggae inspired. Cool. <laughs> but, no, no. But there's no more reggae on the album <laughs> other than that. Um, it's, um, I think it's the, it's similar to that song in that it's sort of has this kind of undertone of melancholy that is actually quite, I don't find it a sad album. I think mm. my tone is often covert happiness or covert melancholy with, you know, with other complicated emotions infused, which is, I think, how most emotions are experienced with other complicated side effects. <laughs> was there something that, that was that a tone throughout the album, or was there yeah. something in particular that you'd say binds the sound together? Uh, there's a, well, there's a lot of... Uh, it's more down tempo and a bit mellower than our other albums, and so I think it does feel like not a departure, but it feels like it has a, a, a tone just by virtue of um, there's less like hypeyness. <laughs> <laughs> Was there so where did it start? At what point did you start putting this album together? Like, um, so long ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we're, we're really slow. Right, I am anyways, I'm a slow writer, um, and I was doing a lot of writing just with people, right. and so a lot of these songs are songs ca that came out of that process of like getting in the room with a stranger, and which is a, such a bizarre process. It's awesome, um, but it's definitely different than spending the e every day with right. the same person. And um, but. So there are some songs. Sorry, I can't, I can't even remember what we were talking about. What was the question? Oh, how? When did we start this? <laughs> uh, when did I start answering this question? It's so long ago. Um, it uh, took us about three years, but it wasn't like constant. You know, we're not like we're not hiring out a studio and like going to work every day. And it took us three years because it's so mega. Right. It. It's just. Um, there's a lot of other stuff going on, and we were touring. I mean, you're you're yeah. busy. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's not like you guys are just sitting on your thumbs all the time, essentially. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? who did you work with on this album? Like, were there certain people who came in for the whole thing, or parts of it, or how did that work? No, um, I guess just uh, Dan. My, the other half of Dragonette. Yeah. Well, there's three of us, but yeah. just the other writing half. Right, but mostly. Right. Although, my favorite song on the album and the title track is uh, a song that was written simultaneously by all three of us, which is a very rare occasion because really? we're not always in the same place. And a lot of times it's like passed around, but it's like, uh -huh. the, yeah. So. That's exciting. And that's actually the song that I made the changes to that I was oh, talking really? to. Okay. <laughs> this is the last minute changes. Um, so, wait, what was I saying? Oh, is there some. Well, Dan is my collaborator. Yeah. He's in all of. You know, he's got. He's mostly um, coordinating or producing or executive producing right. on the tracks. So you were um, bringing in that, like other producers and stuff this time? We did. There are lots of other producers, oh, right. but it's not like one I person. See, yeah. It's like right. generally it's the person who I wrote the song with ended up doing production and then Dan That's would cool. do some. And, um, but also our manager, Neil Harris, is like, he's sort of his most constant and 
um, valued role, although he's very valuable in many ways. His most, he, he's almost like our A and R guy. He's, he's very like creatively, um, in, like he really helps us put, put stuff together. He always has from the very beginning. Like he has really good opinions, and I almost find, I almost think he's like the you know fifth beetle a little bit. <laughs> Because you guys do take a while for now, this out, well, you took a while for this album to come together. Is there something you think that that is there benefit to the process in the end? Because you must have a lot of time to like hone each song. Yeah, or but you know what? Very, I don't think that's I think how long it takes you. It's. I think that there is definitely a benefit, most likely a benefit. Um, but I think there's other benefits that clearly come from being timely and, and very efficient right. and very, um, uh, yeah, prolific. But, I mean, it's the way you work. It's the way we work. Yeah. You can't really fight it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Exactly. So then in terms of touring, the fact that you guys are fairly separate, what's it like coming together for touring? How, how does it end up working for you guys? It must be fun to finally to be all in the room together. It's, a, it's the best. Yeah. It's, we... We just, we assume this like, it's like we are magnets that just came back together and we're we just flow like one unit and it's like it never stopped. I mean sometimes if we haven't toured for a while, the show is maybe a little bit <laughs> less together but honestly us as a, as a group of people, we just come right back into this motion that we all we're so we're so comfortable in and we get along and it's like all of a sudden this family is is working again it's, it's like one of the most comforting things about the job is that you know that that's you know that you can that you're going to fall into that and it's going to be comfortable it's not i know a lot of fans aren't that lucky a lot of them a lot of people hate touring, a lot of people hate the people they tour with. <laughs> so there's a lot of friction and or there's like factions and whatever and I feel really lucky that we, we all know that we have this flow and it's it's a constant and it's we can rely on. That's cool. So it is kind of one of those things then that you guys must really look forward to finishing the album to then be able to tour with new material and everything else. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, that's the birthday the, the, gift on top of the uh, the cake. Yeah, exactly. Else. But it's also once you've toured something, you, when you when you come to the end of touring, the other gift is that you get to fantasize about being in the studio and think about right. the, the songs you want to write and be and being creative in that way. And so it's almost like a very perfect. It's as cyclical, soon as you get right? yeah, it's yeah. very cyclical, and you you get tired of you know your your particular this that element of your job and right right at the right time you can see the end of it and you start feeling creative again and like you want to write because at the end of being in the studio it's like shoot me really i i don't want to i don't want to like delve inside myself and try to find another lyric i would rather hang myself <laughs> not really <laughs> but the, you get to the end of it and you're like get me out of here and just let me like sing and you know run around on stage please <laughs> Well, thank you very much for the time, and thank you. looking forward to hearing you out. Thank you.